So let me uh, introduce a, a, a term to you that may be familiar to some of you. We use this term in designing online learning. And affordance just means a feature or a quality of an object or an environment that helps people know how to interact with it, helps people know what type of interaction they're supposed to have with that object or in that space. Okay, so let me give you a quick example of what the heck I'm talking about here. Perhaps the easiest way to think of what an affordance is is to think about those little metal panels on doors okay, that you go to push on you know, when you're leaving the restroom or whatever. Um, that metal panel, really, it doesn't change how the door operates, but what it does, it's an affordance that tells you if you want to get out, you got to push over here. Okay? Um, you know, geeky people like me that really are into usability stuff and when we're in college, this is like what, what, what nerdy uh, people studying usability and inter interface design in college do. We go into restrooms and we move that panel from one side to the other and then we sit there and go, ha, 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 they can't get out because they're pushing on the wrong side. Yeah, okay. Um, anyway, that's an affordance though, right? It helps people know how to interact with that object. Okay, so let's see here, by the way, there's a Facebook group about affordances. Okay, so just in case you're, you're not really solidified on which side of the, the nerd fence you're on. Okay, so what's the affordance here? If you were to walk in and jump in this pool, what would you do? What would you know to do? Stay within the lanes, right. So it's really simple. Th those lane markers are the affordance to help you know that that's the interaction you're supposed to have in that pool. There are probably other times where they take those away and the interaction is very different. Okay, so that's a, that's a good example. Let me take a look at one more. How about uh, here? What type of interaction does this environment afford? Who would be the one leading the discussion? Yeah, hard to tell, right? Could be everybody, okay? So that's a, very obvious. Right away, you know what sort of interaction this environment affords. How about here? So it's pretty clear that it's a different, same, same physical space, same walls, same chairs. I guess we got some tables here. But very quickly, this, the affordances of this room, the way these chairs are set up, tell you that the interaction is going to be very, uh, very different. How about here? The affordances that you build in to your course are just as apparent to them as those swim lanes in that pool a second ago. Even though it may be in the same online course system, it is immediately apparent whether this is going to be a sit at the desk and stare and look at the teacher type of course, or whether this is going to be sit around the circle and talk with each other kind of course. Okay? Right off the bat, we're seeing there's a wiki, there's a blog, a journal, I have a discussion forum. You have to get all the way to the bottom if I scroll down, it doesn't let me scroll here, before you see a document. So interesting. So, so that is an interesting affordance of this space. Right off the bat, you see where that priority is because what's the most most important, what you see up at the top. Yeah, so those are all factors that are really important for you to consider as you are um, building your, your course, right? So some, some examples that you could think about this is where you place, if you have some sort of introduction that you do, maybe you have an introductory uh, discussion forum, or you have a discussion forum where you can answer questions, sort of like virtual office hours or something like that. Um, if that's right up at the top, it's clear that you want interaction there. If the first thing is your syllabus and the second thing is your, um, you know, the five articles that you just wrote and then the third thing down there is a link to another book and, the, and then way at the bottom it's like, here's the discussion forum for some interaction. Um, may, may not be, it's not a guarantee, but it's, if I had to make a quick judgment, I would say, well, I wonder how much interaction is really gonna happen in that, in that environment. So, so really important questions to consider.